G'day. Uh, we are going to have a look at setting up weight distribution kit. Now what we're trying to achieve is to distribute the download on the tow ball across both axles on the tow vehicle, getting the caravan as level as possible. Okay, so the first thing we do is get the van level uh, and we set up our tow ball height so it's even with the coupling. The next thing we will do is take a few measurements on the vehicle without the caravan on. So we want to know where it sits with no load. Now that we know where that sits without any load on it, we can drop the van onto the car. See how much the car drops. taking weight off the front axle, which does all your steering and about 70% of your braking. So we need to get weight back onto the front of the vehicle. Uh, a, lot of vehicle a lot of people use airbags or air suspension instead of weight distribution. That will help to level the vehicle, but it will not transfer any of that total weight onto the front of the vehicle. So you're still going to be light even if you're level. Okay, put the bars on. And now we'll measure again. So we're still down an inch at the back. We're back to about where we were at the start. I would like a little more tension than that. So we'll go to five lengths. Five lengths is about the minimum. You don't want to go any less than that, or you don't have enough uh, room on the chain. both axles, both, both the front and the rear of the vehicle are sitting lower than they were without the van on. So we're sharing that load. Now we want to just make sure that the van's running level. Okay, so we're sitting about 15 mil nose high at the moment. Now as we're already on the lowest hole on the dropper here, we can't, uh, we can't really go any lower than that without putting an extended drop shank on, which I don't really want to do because we lose too much clearance. 15 mil nose high is fine. That's not an issue. Now, if these, you can't, if you can't get the right angle on these uh, weight distribution bars, you can adjust the angle of the head here. The sole reason this head is adjustable is so that we can tilt it to change the angle of the bars so we can get them running fairly close to the A-frame here. One thing to be sure of, when you release the bars, do not put your foot underneath it. Mm. This can have a lot of pressure on them. Always make sure you keep your feet clear. That one's not too bad. This 
that has a lot of pressure. You can see how much the car moves when you pull this bar up. It will lift back the car. Now if that bar is a bit hard to pull up, you can use your jockey wheel. If I don't have a jockey wheel on at the moment, I'll just use this jack, which does exactly the same thing. We can take the pressure off the bars. Then we lift it significantly easier. So put our bars back on. and then release our jockey wheel and it'll all drop back to place. That's it, we're good to hit the road.